So this is the second time I'm recording this video, mostly because the first time I recorded it, I failed. I thought I could beat the AI. I thought I could be faster than the AI in building out a Laravel application from start to finish before it could build out a React application from start to finish, a full stack React application. And you'll get to see why in this video that the tool that beat me and why I think it's actually pretty good. So why don't we take a look? So this is Chef by Convex, and it's the tool that beat me in building out a full stack application from start to finish, even deploying it before I could build out a Laravel application from start to finish, even with using AI. Initially, I thought, okay, I'm going to have this great idea for a video where I say I can build a Laravel application from start to finish faster than AI can build an application from start to finish, because I thought, okay, yes, you have to think through authentication, and then you have to think through, okay, yes, you have to have a database connected, but then it needs to know how to talk to that database. How does it have users authenticate and also save information to the database with those users? And then you have to get into things like authorization. So is this user even allowed to see or view or create specific things within the database? And I thought, oh yeah, I could do that before AI does it, but not when it comes to something like Chef, because Chef is actually really good. And I hadn't played around with it at all until I started recording that video. And within, I think it was like four or five minutes, it had finished the application pretty much one shot. And I maybe added a couple of different prompts afterwards, but it even built additional features that were pretty difficult to build if you think about file upload or picture upload and things like that. And so I figured I would give it a different take in the sense of maybe making another video just talking about how cool it is and how I think we as specifically myself as a PHP, as a Laravel developer, and just as developers in general, what we can learn from something like Chef, because I really think the reason why it's so good is it gives you everything out of the box within Convex so that they can use their AI to just say, hey, we've already built, we've already solved these problems. So why don't we just give you the solution using the tools that they've already built. So the first thing that I, I built, I gave Claude, I said, hey, give me a prompt so that I can use this for AI. And it, it built this recipe app. And I'm gonna go ahead and deploy it. It looks like I had already deployed it, but it's going to deploy it again and we'll view the site. This is a personalized recipe keeper. I added additional features that it didn't quite nail the first try, but within the first try, it didn't have the import from URL or the export all recipes. It just had an add new recipe, be able to search. I don't think I had the search functionality either. I asked it to add that feature because I wanted to see, okay, how difficult is this? But basically this is their own auth, Convex's own auth, and we can dive into the source code here in a little bit. But again, I think this is why Convex by and Chef by Convex is winning when it comes to the battle of building something from start to finish, a full stack application. I've tried V0, I've tried Bolt, I've tried Replit, I've tried them all. But I think the reason why Chef by Convex wins is it has its own database, it has its own authentication, it has a way to do all the things it wants to do and most of the time you're going to prompt to do and so it just needs to pick and choose which parts does it need to pull in. And maybe something from this exists or will exist in the Laravel world soon enough, I don't know. And But I think there should be because the solving piece, things that I've already unsolved, makes it a lot easier to then just take those bits and pieces when someone prompts for it. So. Yeah, we have authentication, so I could create a new account, and I'll say, let's say josh at siri.com, and we'll put in this password, but it automatically signs me in. Oh, could not sign up. That's interesting. I'll sign in anonymously. There we go. We'll add a new recipe, and this is the first recipe. We'll say that it needs some one cup of flour, and we just mix it, and then we can add some tags, but this is adding the recipe. And the cool thing is, yes, this is just basic CRUD actions, but most places that I've tried to have generate something like this for me, they, they just fail. They don't even, most of the time, especially when it comes to persisting to the database attached to a specific user. But I think it worked great for me specifically. So I want to go ahead and take a look at the actual codes. Why don't we take a look at the code together? Let's go ahead and pull this up, workbench code. Perfect. So again, I had never used Convex before, and this was the first time 
trying it out. And I think it's very interesting. One, Convex has their own templates that kind of give you a whole bunch of things from start to finish for multiple different languages. Astro, let's see, Expo, that's a really interesting one. There's Handstack, there's Stripe, there's Shadcn, there's React, there's Vite specifically. And yes, Convex is, at least if I'm understanding it correctly, it is React specific. So it is, and I wonder if they even say that here, Convex open source React database for app developers type in pure TypeScript. Okay, so you don't necessarily need to use React. But the interesting part is it's a database as well as everything else. So not only do you have this real-time database, but you also have the ability to have server queries and server functions. You could have, I believe, what they have, so like some kind of a queue information as well. So yeah, backend built-ins. You can create cron jobs, kick off backend AI workflows, built-in auth, a growing ecosystem of components. And it all just lives in this little wrapper. And the cool part is it, because it's all TypeScript and because it's all types, AI works well with it. But because they built their own AI, they know how to work with their own tools, like I said. And so really the code itself is nice, but the fact that I could generate all this and not have to mess with pretty much anything, I didn't touch any of this code, even the ability to deploy it and view the site in a page I didn't touch anything like it. So the cool thing is it all lives in this one convex folder. So we have convex and we have these generated folders that it gives us from that. And I believe all of this is where all that data model lives. So we have, have these are all ones that are generated. So we have the API and things like that, but really it all comes from like this recipes.ts, I believe. Yeah. So this is where we have all the mutations and handlers and everything like that. And then we also have like a schema say, okay, this is where the values from the convex tables get input. So we have the recipes, we have a search index for recipes name, and then user ID. I wonder where it has the like user schema. So this is recipes, but I wonder where the actual user is. Maybe it's because it's an auth.ts, like it just wraps the saying, okay, you are using convex auth. I don't know specifically. And then basically the whole application itself is one React application. The, it's there's no Next.js or anything on top of that. At least what Chef generated, like I said, the templates themselves. I believe you can have. It looks like yeah, they have a Next.js template. They have Astro. They have Vite. All of these are templates that you can definitely use and use with Convex. So I know that there's a lot of content creators and YouTubers who have been talking about Convex recently. Some of the people that I admire, Web Dev Cody, as well as Raz Mickey, have been talking about Convex and just how wonderful Convex is. And so I wanted to dive into it a little bit more. And I'm not going to build anything. This is more just like an overview, mostly because I was just so impressed at how quickly it built out that full stack application with Chef itself. But I wanted to look into, okay, what does the code actually look like and why do people love it. And again, this isn't something that I'm going to be maybe using in my workflow, but just the fact that it's there, it exists. And if I needed something like this, a real-time database fairly quickly and up and running, then it's probably a great option. And I think that's really where it comes down to, because I took a look at the Convex tutorial, which is a chat app. And so you think, okay, Usually, that's one of the more difficult pieces of tech to build in the sense that you have real-time information that's synced. If you were building that even in Laravel, you would probably have to reach for something like Reverb or you just pull the server and stuff like that. It's not tedious by any means, but it's also not the first thing that you want to build. So the fact that even the initial tutorial is saying, hey, let's build a chat app together, it says something for sure because it talks about like how Convex works here. It's a client library with another client library, these two web apps that talk to the convex back in a sync engine of mutations and queries saying, okay, once this happens, let's do this. And if that does happen, then let's change it everywhere. And it's all synced together. And I think that's the part that probably most people just aren't familiar with, especially when building applications. If you are learning from the get go, you're probably learning a traditional database where I'm going to write something and then I have to find a way to then read that information. 
and convex at least the way that I'm understanding and I could be wrong about this is it's a sync engine in its core it is a real time database just with information that you don't have to think about so when you're writing mutations like this and you're saying I'm going to send a message yeah it looks like the handler just awaits this context of the database and then it just inserts that message but I don't think you actually have to do anything in terms of, okay, once this happens, I'm going to now retrieve and refresh all the messages. It just works because of how the sync engine is set up. So yeah, update your app.tsx file like so. You're sending a new message. Where, let's see, where do we, okay, your first query. So this is the get messages query. It's exposed as a public API. It's a query function. The first line of the handler, you're querying the most recent 50 messages from newest to oldest. And you're showing live updates as the new messages arrive. And they said, yeah, that's it. Now go back to your app, try sending messages. And I think, again, I think the, yeah, they say sync engine quite a bit. And I think that's the piece that Probably, if I had to guess, especially from the videos I've watched from people like WebDev Cody, Theo, Rasmic, they all appreciate the fact that it just is a sync engine out of the box. You don't have to, it is a new database in the sense that you're not, you, I don't believe you can use something like a Prisma or a Drizzle with it. You are using Convex's database structure and ORM to talk to the database, but it is a sync engine out of the box. You don't have to worry about that real time information. Any query that you retrieve, of database information automatically keeps it in sync any mutation that you send automatically then pushes to the database to stay in sync but yeah just the fact that the initial tutorial that they mention is a chat application again if the recipe information we'll go back to the chef because i'm curious what the code let's go ahead and hide this workbench i initially said please generate the initial structure code for web application called personalized recipe keeper this application should include user authentication implement user accounts it should include a database schema so recipe data basic crud operations for recipes create read update and delete and i figured okay AI applications, e even good AI applications, they mostly f get that wrong. They get the fact of, okay, here's a user, but I then, okay, can all users read it or they, can they only read their own? Can they, can they actually delete their own? Can someone else delete someone else's? Especially that authorization piece, usually for full stack applications, for full stack AI created applications, it struggles with it because those are all pieces usually talking from different pieces of tech. It's usually never the same piece of tech. And I think that's why Chef did so well. Chef by Convex. They're cooking something good. And it just one shot, I believe. So it walked through all these, it pushed these functions to Convex. I think it had, okay, I did have a preview error that I think it automatically tries to fix it. And Okay, actually, I think I tried logging in, but it didn't let me log in because it was expecting recipes to already exist. So there was no like blank application state. And so I think that was the one thing that I had to fix. And then it looked good. I said, here's some potential enhancements that we can make to the application. Let's try to get somewhere all these ads to make such special. Let's cook. And I gave it these and it nailed about 70% of them. But again, I was super impressed. I had to basically stop the recording because I got maybe... I don't know, 60, 70% of the way in the same amount of time that it had already finished it and then deployed it. And of course, I probably knew how to do the rest of it within Laravel. I've built applications like this. I, it's not new to me, but just the fact of how fast it could move, as well as a lot of the things that I, I was looking at within Convex of how you define schemas, of how you do even this chat application. Of course, it gives you a lot of things to start out the gate when it comes to schemas and everything like that. But even the tutorial that they give out of the box, I can see why this is so popular and why it's so inviting. You have the things that become difficult within a full stack application, authentication, real-time sync to the database, as well as just an opinionated way to send and retrieve information. 
It's one of the main reasons why I think Laravel does such a wonderful job is because you have those opinions of this is how you connect to a database. This is how you send information. This is how you retrieve information. This is how you have authentication. You don't have to think about how you're going to set all that up. And when you don't have to think about it, it's easier to do from start to finish AI or not. And so, yeah, Convex is wonderful. I think Convex is great and I'm going to be using it more because I like to experiment with things. I like to figure out, okay, why are more and more people talking about this? And I definitely see why. So Chef by Convex specifically and just Convex in general, I think they're cooking up something good. So maybe try it out, but anything, keep creating.